Hi, this is Gunshkin Kun, and this is Telltale Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. We just um, helped Rocket out to deal with his past, and now we're going to talk to our crewmate again, crewmates again, and then head out to uh, the Nova Corps to see if we can get, uh, we have a chance of catching up to Nebula. I'm hoping we do, since we did warn, uh, warn them. Yeah, we're gonna check on Rocket real quick. Hey, Groot. I am Groot. Well, I'm gonna, uh, go. Now. I am Groot. Wise words. What happened after you escaped that lab? I've never been off world before. Never been anywhere before. I just got lost in everything the galaxy had to offer. Yeah, you know, after being in a cage all my life, I can still remember how big it felt. How empty. Thanks for the talk. Uh huh. It's okay to miss her, you know. Come on, Rocket. It'll help you to talk about it. You've been keeping this to yourself for years. Worked out fine so far. Thanks for the talk. Uh-huh. God, Rocket's frustrating. Scratching my head. Anyway. Let's go find uh, Gamora real quick. Oh, it won't even let me in her room. I guess I kind of... Oh, well, maybe she's upstairs. Hoping I didn't blow that. Sheesh. I guess we're just, uh, travel to Nebula. I will travel. Let's go. Hey, everybody to the bridge. We're going to the Nova Corps outpost to intercept Nebula. Here we go. should have come right away. She's already got Thanos' body. We can't lose her, too. Okay, okay, you have a point. Oh, if only you could have seen that earlier, we wouldn't be in this situation. Star-Lord, thank you for coming to our aid. <laughs> oh, we were hoping you'd show up a little earlier. Hey, what's going on? I warned you that Nebula was on her way. I, I know. We secured the body, like you said, but she snuck in using a stolen ship of ours. We were overwhelmed. She made off with the body, but we can still take her down. Weapons loaded. Lethal force has been sanctioned. Get into position. Ah! No! I'll be damned if I let the Nova Corps blow my sister to stardust. We need her alive. 
Otherwise, we've got no chance of translating the Eternity Forge. Ready? On my orders. Hey, uh... Whatever your name is. Rooks, sir. You can call me Rooks. If you want. It's... kind of a nickname. Not as good as yours, though. Star-Lord. Rooks, listen. I don't want to have to hurt you, so you'd better do exactly as I say. What? Sir, you don't... Uh... Nebula gets captured alive. Understand? Well, I... I, I can't do that. I'm... I'm sorry, Star-Lord. Fire when ready. Okay. When words don't work, there's always firepower. Oh, I damn. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hey, hey, what are you doing? Stopping you. Guardians, fall back. If you do not follow orders, we will be forced to return fire. No! Star Lord, we have to follow protocol. Please listen to him. Nova officers. Form a blockade. Peter Quill, by order of the Nova Corps, you will stand down and submit to capture. Nope. Star-Lord, Nebula is a wanted fugitive. The biggest threat to the galaxy now that Thanos is dead. She's guilty of multiple crimes. We have explicit orders to eliminate her immediately. We can't afford to be lenient here. It's too risky. Not if you leave her in our custody. Killing her isn't the only option. Your assisting her will only place you at odds with the Nova Corps. Listen, the Guardians have a stake in Nebula's survival. She's kind of a family friend. Of sorts. I had no idea you were so close to her. But even so, I have a duty to the Nova Corps. <sighs> I tried. Officer Rooks. Signing off. I hope we can still be friends. <clears throat> I think that went well. <laughs> We've got targets on us. On it. That's the last of them. Hold on. Peter Quill. I wasn't expecting you to show your face. Couldn't let the Nova Corps claim your glory. You had to kill me yourself. You brought this upon yourself. So you think. Whoa, I'm not a killer, Nebula. That's not why we're here. You murdered Thanos! That makes you a murderer. Look, we need your help. You have to come with us. I will never help you. Well, that was short and sweet. Had to make this difficult. Disabling her engines. I cannot not. Come on, field's too dense. I can't get a clear shot. We'll have to force her out. Okay. Oh, okay, a lot of work. Oh, we're gonna play chicken now, okay. My guns are bigger than yours. Gamora, take the controls. I'm going in to grab Nebula. Watch yourself. She may be incapacitated. But she's still dangerous. Peter, her ship is drifting into the planet's gravity field. You need to hurry. Knock, knock. Go away. I refuse to accept your help or your pity. I'd rather die here. I oh, failed, God. Father. Again. But, if you die now, hurtling to your death in a fiery hunk of metal, how will you avenge Thanos? 
You're running out of time. Give me a sec. We can get through here. <laughs> oh, well, uh, uh. She loses her uh, limbs quite a bit, doesn't she? See, it all end up working out. How about them apples? Now the interrogation. <laughs> oh, that's the last of it. Oh wow, that's so. I don't like knowing Thanos's body is out there somewhere. Oh, one thing at a time. We have to figure out how this relic works before we start worrying about the dead guy. We're running a scan of her cybernetics, but it's taking some extra time. Just to be safe. We need to get Nebula to help us decipher these symbols. Just watch yourself, Peter. She's not exactly happy to be here. Okay, she's definitely not happy to be here. Yeah, I don't really blame her. Her dad's dead, we beat her up, and then she gets locked in her sister's room. She's not having the best couple of days. It is what she deserves for serving Thanos. Rocket may be able to get her arm working again. We could use it as leverage. <laughs> Don't bother. We are going to dismantle this cyborg piece by piece. Fear won't work on someone like Nebula. You'll just rile her up. <laughs> good. Not good. She was trained to slaughter thousands. She may hate you, but she does not fear you. I know you're good at knives, but trust me, you attract more flies with honey. What would you want with flies? That's not the point. Flies are a nuisance. Oh. You okay to go in there? Frankly, no. I'm not okay. I wanted to reconnect with Nebula. You told me to reconnect with her. And then this happens. Maybe she'll come around someday, but... I can't see her wanting to reconcile anytime soon. Hey, Nebula. Neb. Can I call you Neb? Oh, oh hey, hey, hey. Do you mind not inviting me? I just want to talk like two civilized people. Can we do that? That's really up to you, isn't it? Thanos wanted this relic, and I know he had you learn how to read these glyphs. That, that's the Eternity Forge. You've heard of it? How did you make those runes appear? I thought it didn't work. I was, uh, <laughs> dead. The Forge resurrected me. These symbols appeared sometime after that. So it works. I need you to help me translate them. Mm. That's not gonna happen. You think I'd so easily betray my father? We are not all so spineless. Okay. What if I sweeten the deal? Look, you help me with this one teensy tiny little thing and I will let Rocket reattach your arm. I know you have no intention of helping me. Um. She wants to see me suffer. Oh, Killing she did? father wasn't enough for you, you have to rub it in my face too. He raised you, Gamora. He loved you. That was not love, Nebula. And you let this imbecile murder him! You are the reason he's gone. You're the one who ruined my life. Whoa, this is a happy place. There's no need for that kind of name calling. I mean, really, imbecile? Oh, sorry I hurt your delicate little feelings. That's enough, Nebula! You pass judgment on me, on my father, but I know you, Gamora. You may have forgotten Tarval, but I haven't. I'm warning you never, never to speak the name. Tarval, Tarval! I'll get what we need from you, one way or another. You want me to talk? Get rid of her. 
Don't be ridiculous, Nebula. I have nothing to say to you. Gamora? You need to leave. What? Now. If I hear screams, I'm not helping you. That's fine. Now you're being she the unreasonable never one. About us. The minute things get difficult, she'll be gone. You'll see. So, what's the deal with Tarval? It's not my story to tell. If you're so eager to know, you should ask Gamora. Star-Lord, the scan found something. A strange device in the cyborg's skull. These past few days... They've been the worst of my life. I lose my father. Then you show up and capture me and I'm forced to relive everything. Just leave me alone. I'm not trying to hurt you, Nebula. Doesn't matter, does it? You still did. But maybe there's a way to fix that. Oh, God. No, what are you, what are you doing? I know you won't take my word for it. So here, it'll tell you what you need to know. You owe me. Thanks, Nebula. I told myself I wasn't going to be that person anymore. She just gets under my skin. I can't help it. Are you kidding? That was awesome! Uh, <laughs> are you serious? I see you tried my plan. <sighs> the important thing is we got the, uh, the Kree thingy. So. That is a cipher module. There are not many left in existence. All right, so how does this work? I think I can upload this to my own translator. Okay, it says, come find me in the Helpful. God, didn't we find it in a temple? My mom said the same thing when I died. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe we missed something. We were a little preoccupied at the time. Come find me. Who do you think me is? That temple was completely abandoned when we showed up. It's gotta be whatever is sending me these visions. I hope you're right. Then we can find out why you're having them in the first place. Exactly. Let's get moving. We're going back to the temple. Okay. Where's Rocket? We're almost there. I have not seen him emerge. We should give Rocket some space. Okay, let him be for now. Fine. Well, Rocket is in no shape to guard Nebula. Someone's got to stay back and keep an eye on her. I will stay behind to guard the prisoner. Um, hang on. No, you won't. I am not leaving him here with her. You heard him before. He wants to rip her apart. I did say that. Does this mean you're volunteering, Gamora? Yes. I'll guard her. No! You cannot be seriously considering this. You're the one who told me to reconnect with her. Now that she's here, I deserve that opportunity. And I'll make sure she stays out of trouble. Nebula is my responsibility. Your record on that matter is questionable. Gamora, Let's... you should stay behind and keep an eye on Nebula. We need we'll to give, give everybody a, a shot. We Thank give you. Rocket, we'll give Gamora, and we'll give Drax, and then... You... you side with her again, Peter Quill. Perhaps I truly have no purpose. Let us return to the temple. I will be ready when you are. 
What's up, Groot? I am Groot. Aw. He lacks my choice. Okay. Find me in the temple. Let's go find out who's waiting for us. <laughs> this is familiar. <laughs> uh, yeah. I forgot how slow this elevator was. I do not like being back in this wretched place. Well, this ain't a field trip, Drax. The markings on the forge said, find me in the temple. So, here we are. In a temple. Again. Again. <laughs> Hello? Anyone here? Yes, I am here, as is Groot. But I should be guarding Nebula on the ship. We've been over this, Drax. So, why don't we just spread out? We look for secret doors or passages or whatever. I've got my scanner. If anyone's here, we'll find them. Okay, I think we'll call it quits here. We'll finish this episode next time. So thank you for joining me. This is Genshin Kun. Until next time. Sayonara!